Well, hello again. It's time to do yet another unboxing. I just uh, got this one in the mail a little while ago. Um, Cyberpunk 2027 Gangs of Night City, the board game from Simon and Guillotine Games. Um, I've been kind of looking forward to this one. Uh, well, very much looking forward to it. I love the cyberpunk um, IP uh, genre, I guess. And um, so this game looks really cool. I'm not sure what it's like. Kind of got a vibe that it was just going to be a bit like um, the Seamon game Godfather. Uh, other people said, no, 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 it's nothing like that. You're wrong. Um, and that's fine too, because um, it's exciting if something's new. All right, it's a big old box, so I, did I go all in or almost all in? I did, it kind of worked out that I, um, the way I did the order, that I was just happy to get everything. So I got everything, as you can see inside the box, which is very well packed. There's a lot in there. All right, so what do we have? We have um, motor pool expansion. I love this pool. Everything's yellow. We got the gang wars. Um, yeah, that's how it worked out. I was like, I wanted a few of the expansions, side gigs expansion, and then by the time everything added up, I was just sort of like, oh, well, I might as well get all of them because it's... Here's one of the Kickstarter exclusive extra characters. And here is one of the main expansions, Families and Outcasts. It gives a little board extension. And this one will be all of the, oh, 3D hideouts and drones back. Oh, there's lots of, that's a much bigger box than I expected. Okay. And here is the main box. Oh, it's heavy. Golly. Is there anything else in there? Nope. I'm going to just get this box out of the way. And we can start looking through. So that's a pretty big haul. I love this big yellow box. Um, I guess I'll just start with the main one and then work our way down from there. So it looks gorgeous. Everything's in great condition. Uh, so this is from Simon CE Project Red, which is I think that's the company that does that's the company that does um, Cyberpunk, <clears throat> which is a video game. Well, the twenty seventy seven is the video game. I'm pretty sure Cyberpunk is originally uh, RPG, and the box looks good. So it's designed by Andrea Chevaseo and Eric Lang. Alexio Sternberg and Francisco Rogerford said, uh, once again, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. And it's even got the cool Keanu Reeves character in it. All right, box looks good. Nice, standard, nothing, nothing extra special, but good quality. Some ads. There's your rule book. Ooh, what's that? That's everything that's all the extras. So this is a special rule book. <clears throat> Uh, I think, did they put everything, yes, they put, in this box, that's a big board, it's actually much bigger than I thought it was, which is interesting. Huh? Yeah, no, there's a whole, it's a whole tri uh, what do you call it, six panel thingy, six, oh, yeah, that's a big, big board, that's cool. So this is a much, actually, this game is huge, I'm kind of surprised, I don't know why, but, um, just in all of the Kickstarter information, it looked smaller, but I guess because that was on a little screen. So that's awesome. I'm always like being pleasantly surprised, although it gives me a lot less room to pull everything out. So that's the board. It seems to be double-sided as well. So that might be the difference between the three player and the four plus player games. A little sideboard. Um, the gang play mats for each of the basic gangs plus one extra. So we have in the retail edition of this game there should be one, two, three, four gangs. And then in the Kickstarter edition you got a free exclusive gang. Alright, and we got our punch boards, there'll be lots of these. Oh wow. There we go. And oh, this will be the box with all the K 
car uh, miniatures in it. And then lots of space to put all the cards in. I'm not going to have time this time to sort of pull out all the cards. But if you uh, if you get interested, you really want to see all the cards, just drop them the comment below and say, let's look at all the cards. And then I'll do another video where I look at all the cards uh, at some point, which I'm happy to do because that's fun. All right, so here's all the minis. And as you can see, the game minis are each color uh, distinguished by color, which is really cool. Red, yellow, purple, green, blue, really cool bright colors. And the minis look awesome. If you can see it, boop. And they have different base shapes. Oh man, this is so cool. I'm actually kind of excited for this game. I mean, I should be. I did buy it, so it would be, a, it would be dumb if I was like, oh, yeah, no, you, whatever, this game's here. Um, yeah, the minis look really cool. Um, uh, it's hard to see them on the screen, but you can kind of get an idea. I think these red ones are the Maelstrom. They're cool as. What's this one? Oh, that's the Valentino's, maybe? Okay, cool. Alright, we'll put that one back. And then the one below is all the... What are they called? The extra characters? The edge runners? You can... You can... Um, look at this one. He's a cat. You can... In the game, you have your gangs, but you can also hire these sort of uh, mercenaries. I think they're called edge runners. Um, see, and this is the... These aren't mercenaries, but it's the these, these hospital team. And then this one's a car. That's cool. And then this one is a vending machine, which you may be able to hire. And this is like, uh, what's his name? Adam Smasher. He's the the biggest, baddest mercenary edge runner type guy that you can find. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a bit distorted because of the... I've got it on the widescreen. You can see my hand is going all weird. Uh, but that's okay. Man, there's so many of these. This is one that's like there. It's actually two guys. Um, what else? Oh, gosh. This, they're really cool. This guy's like got a full cyborg body. And he's quite happy with it. He says, look at me. Um... Yeah, so each of these ones, you can you basically have them set aside um, and like in a, in a hiring pool, and you can hire them in onto your gang uh, to get some extra abilities or actions, I think, is how that works. All right, so let's pack this one up. As I said, we'll skip looking at all the cards. As Even though all the cards are cool and they have really cool artwork and I'm trying to tell you about the game, I just... This is going to be like a two and a half hour video if I go looking through all the cards right now. Uh, come on. There it goes. So put all this back in to the box. We got our minis. We got our punch boards. We got our game mats for the gangs huge player board and the advertisement for other CMAG games and the lid which I think I must have flipped around so I'm pretty sure I opened it like that and this is such a big box you kind of have to be careful putting the lid on because sometimes when they're this this deep you'll actually um, what do you call it you can pop the pop the corners if you push too hard uh, from the air pressure. So this is the exclusive edition of Cyberpunk. That's what it's got. It's it's about, it's a bigger box and it's got all those extra little guys in it. So this is the Pan Am Palmer exclusive extra mini. There she is. So that's another edge runner, another sort of hireable mercenary. As always, the molds just come out so well. They get so much detail on this plastic. Um, usually when they're doing the progress reports. So they'll show you the the resin cast, which of course um, tend to have more detail, but resin is much more fragile, so they don't ship that out because they, 
I want game components can hold up. All right, so this is the 3D hideouts and drone spec. This is sort of an unnecessary blingy thing that replaces a lot of the tokens with these really cool 3D um, uh, minis. So instead of having just a token, a cardboard token to represent this base for one of the gangs, you have this really, these really well done little minis. Uh, I quite like it. Um, and then these are the stands, one in each color of each gang, because there's actually more gangs than just the five in the box. Um, and as you can see, each gang has their own hideout. That's that blue one. They've got kind of like a, a, I don't know, like a patriot theme, but they're mercenaries. And these are all the drones you can, and in the game, on the basic set of the game, you've just got um, these sort of cardboard tokens, which are fine, but you can also have these drones, and you can see there's a little connection for the peg, and you can get different drones. I'm pretty sure all the drones do the same thing, they just look different, which is cool. Nice. All right, we'll put that one back. And of course, if you want to have a closer look at any of these, just let me know in the comments below. Um, like if I've been too fast bringing out the minis and you want to really have a look at them, just let me know. I'll do another video where we just I can I can have a, a, a more of a of a good look at it. All right. So this is the first of the expansions, which is the families and outcasts. So that introduces two new. Uh, gangs, and it also has a little addition to that humongous board, which is crazy, considering how big that board is, that sort of goes around the edge and represents not the city of Night City, um, but the badlands that surround it. Some tokens, the two gang boards for the Wraiths and the Aldecados. El Here's the board extension which I'm not going to fold it out, but it folds out like that and like that, and it just sticks on the corner and creates another area for your gangs to control. Because it is sort of, it is an area control style game. Uh, it's difficult. Oh God, they put tape. Interesting choice. So it makes it difficult to actually open this. Can I do it now? Yes. I can get my fingers under it. There we go. All right, and there's more tape. There's tape all the way around. I'll just get rid of that tape. That's annoying everybody. Everybody doesn't like to have to deal with tape. So these are, yeah, these are the two gangs, the Outcast and the Al Qaeda. What are they called? Al Qaeda. Well, you know, Wastelanders. Really cool looking. Look at that guy's face. Can you see it? Maybe. Whoa. This guy seems to be not too bothered about whether or not he's going to hit something with his shotgun. He's probably standing very close. Uh, and oh, he's got a big spiky baseball bat. always handy. All right, I'll put that one away. It's very cool looking though. I'm pleased with what I'm seeing so far. Just put that back in there if I can. Chupity, chupity, doop. And interesting choice it's interesting I don't know qu quite how they come to the decisions about how to do the boxes like I guess some things are available in retail and they do these um, like standard boxes where you can um, you know it's it's nice it's it's self-contained and then some things like this are not available in retail so they just do these more like cardboard boxes all right side gigs so this is another little expansion much and this one's now much smaller than I expected for a box um, I wasn't going to get this one, but again, it was basically free with everything else I wanted to get. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just do that then. Um, and this doesn't have any new gangs in it, it but it introduces uh, two, two different mechanics of, I think, these characters that are fixers. 
And it's got a few extra edge runners and it also has these um, digital entities. Whatever they're called. Engrams. The people that cut. There's the Keanu Reeves character, but instead of the living one, he's you can see on his leg there, he's he's like pixelated. He's like a, a, a digital version of him that exists on the web. And then you've got all these fixer types that you can um, interact with for advantages. Excellent. Cute little box. Don't lose the cards. All right, next we have Gang Wars. So this one has three additional gangs. So we have the basic five in the, in the uh, so the basic four that are in the base game, uh, plus because it's the exclusive, what is it? The exclusive edition, it has one extra one. Uh, then you have the two extra ones from the Families and Outcasts. And then you have three more that are in this Gang Wars one. So that gives you lots and lots of options um, for how you want to play the game. Uh, the Each gang is very, very similar in how they... In, in their basic mechanics, but they all have sort of little differences in the way their board is set up and the way that they access resources um, so that they have little advantages and disadvantages that make changing them up more interesting than just, you know, changing the color of what's on the board. So I really like expansions with those sorts of um, subtle changes because it basically you play the same game, you're not making the rules any more complicated. Um, the moxies but you're um, getting a lot more gameplay because you can just, each time you play, you're like, I'll play this gang or I'll play this gang. This guy's cool as. It's kind of big. There we go. Nice. And these guys, these are the, the animals, the orange ones. They like... Uh, are super into bodybuilding and uh, body enhancements through uh, basically science fiction steroids. So they're all huge and muscular and obsessed with being huge and muscular, I guess. And these blue ones are like these sort of uh, non-affiliated gang that just like, you know, people that steal your carburetor, or you're sorry, the type of people that steal your catalytic converter. Um, so that's fun. All right, so there we go. That's uh, probably my favorite expansion um, out of the set because it just brings all those really interesting, colorful new gangs into the, into the game so that if I want to play it more, I've got all the materials I need to do that. All right, last one is the motor pool. This one's super interesting. It introduces the mechanic of being able to take control of any number of vehicles um, that give you different advantages when playing the game. Perhaps you're able to move around the city more quickly, or perhaps you're able to... And this is the little fold-out board to put the cards on. You're able to move around the city more quickly, or you're able to just have like a really powerful vehicle. Like you can see that one, it's a, it's a, it's a mech. So you wouldn't, um, and some of them are just, you know, fast cars and some of them are vans. You can transport more people. So you might be able to move more of your gang members from one place to another, um, and ignore some of the, uh, normal restrictions. But you see, there's this massive, it's basically a tank. So that's on one end of the spectrum. Uh, oh, does it even go back in? Yes, it goes that way. And here on the other end of the spectrum is a motorcycle, which can move someone very fast from one place to another. And then, again, like, what is that? It's a little compact thing. It's always handy to have a car, even if it's not a very good one. And there's that mech. All right, well, I've kind of done a quick look at everything once again. Let me know in the comments below if you want to have a closer look at anything. Um, this is already starting to make just my back hurt, like just going through all these things. Poor me. Um, 
but yeah, I'm happy to have a closer look at any of these if you really want to, especially the cards or the minis. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe because I do these videos all the time when I can. Um, and hit the, hit the, what do you call it? The, the little bell button that notifies you, the notification button when I've released a new video so you can see them as they come up. Um, and yeah, feel free to leave any comments below. And most of these games, eventually we do a review of them on our podcast, Hot Game Magnet, which is at hotgamemagnet.com. Um, we do a review every two weeks. Um, so if you want to hear more about how these games play and what we like about them, uh, feel free to check us out. All right, until next time, have a uh, lovely day.